do your part in helping a poor girl with a broken truck by liking and subscribing. Hi, and welcome to Bronco Babe Adventures. Um, I've been putting off making this video for a while because it's kind of negative and it's kind of me bitching, but it's a part of the story, and so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna share it. So this is a story of my bodywork and how it came to be the hot mess that it is right now. So when I first bought the Bronco, my dad was like, hey, I've got a friend that does bodywork professionally. He's a great guy. You should talk to him and just kind of get an idea of what you're going to need and what's going to cost and get a, get a feel for the situation. So I called him up and he came over and looked at it and was like, hey, I know um, what you do professionally. So would you want to do a trade? We can do time for time. You'll buy the supplies and then I'll do the work and then you can um, help me with what you do. And so I so said, that sounds wonderful. I know body work is really expensive. I don't know how to weld, I don't know how to do this stuff, so that sounds great. So I bought um, two recorders, two doors, a tailgate, and a fender. Um, and it was a little bit sketchy because he asked for $600 for um, glue to do the welding instead of actually welding it. So I gave him $600 and then he started working on it. It was like, I need $300 more for sandpaper. <laughs> I was kind of wondering what was going on, but at the same time, I didn't want to, you know, um, assume that my dad's friend was lying and trying to rip me off. So I gave him the money, and then I asked for receipts for all the things that he bought, which he still hasn't gotten to me. I was getting ready to move cross country, and I was planning on driving the Bronco, so I needed it back. He then called me up and said he needed $400 to pay his friend that helped him hang one of the doors that was tough to get in. They spent all day trying to hang this door, so now I need to pay his friend which I never agreed to have somebody else work on it. So I finally said, no, I'm not gonna pay you any more money. Just give me my truck back. And so he gave it back to me a shape that it's in now. Um, it didn't have side mirrors. It didn't have a bumper. The back tail lights didn't work. The door rubber was all falling in. It was just really a mess. It didn't even have a door handle on one side. Um, and I gave him and his wife about $1,200 worth of services. So I feel like the 1200 worth of services I gave him, as well as $900 worth of supplies. But you know, you live and you learn. I'll do a walk around and you can see what was done and tell me what you think about the work he did. All right, so here it is and it's multi-color glory. Um, he did the rear quarters, this is what he glued in. He wanted to have his buddy painted and he wouldn't give me a price. And finally, um, I said just like a rough general idea because I know it can be expensive. Um, finally be like six to eight thousand dollars and so I said no I'll do it myself and I'm really glad I said that after everything went down um so yeah you can see it's got some pretty intense strips there um I'm planning on sanding it all down and kind of seeing what I'm working with check out that rear window place a motor and it's so fast now I love it um this is another thing that was really concerning is um you can see the screws there. So he installed the outer wheelhouse by screwing it in, which is wrong for so many reasons. Like even I know that is awful. And it ruined my floor liner, so I have to go through and fix that. The work is clearly just not good. And I've already got some paint chippies, so that's fun. Okay, now, so now for the inside. This is a new door. Um, I was told that this is an original 78 Bronco door still in the box. Um, that was one of my first interactions with the guy that I did my body work. So I don't know how true that is. I would like to think it's true because I think it'd be really cool if it was, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. And here is my new seat, which I love so much. Um, what was in here before was just some hideous old van seats. The headrest came all the way up to here, and so when you were looking at the truck, you could see these big things sticking up. And it was cloth and kind of ratty. Um, so I actually got these for free. Somebody gave them to me. Um, I found him in a 7879 Bronco Facebook group, and I was asking about seats, and he offered, he said he had some, and he happened to live half an hour away from you, which is crazy. And he said, if I pulled them out myself, I could have them for free. And here we are. Um, and he also gave me some back seats too. So super cool dude. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to have the old ones, the back seats, and make like a cool swing or like some kind of shop furniture out of them. Please don't judge me for this rat's nest of wires down here. I installed cruise control 
and never quite finished. I'm sure no one knows how that goes. Um, I still need to get a speed sensor and it's been kind of tough with this being a four by four. So I think I finally found one and I'm gonna order it and then I'm gonna solder these um, so they're cleaned up a little bit nicer. So that is the Bronco in its current state. Oh, also I um, painted, painted these guys. I replaced my um, bushings not too long ago and um, nice, nice new ones. It looks so good. Um, so yeah, it's definitely coming together. And I also got um, these new wheels. I love the wagon wheel style. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I can't wait to do the body work and to paint it and make it look really nice. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, I will hopefully be posting videos soon about the rest of the body work that's being worked on and hopefully the paint soon. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Out of breath. <clears throat> like, oh. I guess that's it.